Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the discharge air temperature sensor in this Carrier GRI ETAC heat pump unit, you will need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, wire cutters, zip ties, and a power drill with a 5 16th inch socket. Before you begin, be sure to turn the unit off and disconnect the power supply. When performing this procedure, you will need to fully uninstall the unit from the wall. To do this, remove the unit's front panel by pulling the bottom of the panel out to release it from the tabs, then lift up. If applicable, disconnect the wall thermostat wire connector and the energy management wire connector. Using the power drill with the 5 16th inch socket, Unthread the four mounting screws, securing the unit to the wall sleeve. Now have an assistant help you to slide the unit out of the sleeve and set it on a towel or blanket. Use the number two Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw, securing the control panel. Detach the control panel. Now unthread the lower right screw, securing the junction box cover. Unthread the three screws, securing the junction box itself. Pull back the cover to fully detach the junction box from the power cord. Disconnect the power cord wire connector. Next, unthread the six screws securing the control box's side access cover. Remove the cover. Unthread the four screws to release the left access cover. Now unthread the five screws, securing the middle access cover. Disconnect the relay board and transformer wire connectors from the main control board for better access to the board. Disconnect the discharge air temperature sensor wire connector from the control board. Using the wire cutters, cut the zip tie bundling the wires together. Using the number two Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the six screws securing the discharge air screen. Set the screen aside. Unthread the screws to detach the two support brackets securing the fan housing.
Now unthread the remaining four screws to release the indoor blower cover. With the cover removed, cut the zip tie securing the discharge air temperature sensor, remove the sensor from its sleeve, and pull the wire through the holes in the side of the control box and the indoor air housing. To install the new discharge air temperature sensor, Feed the wire through the holes in the side of the control box and the indoor air housing. Insert the sensor into the sleeve and use a new zip tie to secure the wire to the housing. Realign the baffle on the blower housing. Then reposition the indoor blower cover. Rethread the screws. Realign the two fan housing support brackets and secure them with the screws. Reposition the discharge air screen and rethread the six screws to secure. Connect the sensor wire to the control board. Use a new zip tie to bundle the control box wires together. Reconnect the relay board and transformer wire connectors to the main control board. Then realign the middle access cover and thread the five screws. Reposition the left access cover and rethread the screws. Realign the side access cover and thread the screws to secure. Reconnect the power cord wire connector. Then reposition the junction box and rethread the screws. Rethread the lower right screw to fully secure the cover. Realign the control panel and thread the screw to secure.
Reinstall the unit by sliding it into the wall sleeve until the seal rests against the front of the sleeve. Rethread the mounting screws to secure the unit. Avoid over tightening the screws. Reconnect the wall thermostat and energy management wire connectors, if applicable. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs over the top rail, then push the bottom of the panel in until it snaps into place. Restore power to the unit, and the ETAC heat pump system should be ready for use.